Hello, good morning everyone. This is Life Issue. I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. Now, if you come to my channel and you watch my video and you don't subscribe, please help me subscribe by hitting the red button. We only discuss issues that relate to the family, issues that affect the family. That is what my channel is all about. Thank you so much. I just saw a video of a schoolgirl being asked to break her mobile phone and the mobile phone of all the children in the school by the head teacher the nigerians are talking about this and i had to put my mouth to it because it affects the family now i'm going to show you the video so that you can have an informed information about it but i'm also going to be blocking the school girl's image because she's still a child um even though she's um above 11 but i still feel like she's a minor so i don't want to expose her so i'm going to block her v image and then i'm showing you the video you watch it now and then i'll come back and i'll comment and i'll tell you what i think about this situation thank you thank you so much for watching that video now first of all children are not allowed to use mobile phone inside the school premises for health and safety reason and for security reason mobile phones are not allowed inside the school so if you give your child a mobile phone they can have it in their back now in the UK, what we normally do is when the child steps into school, they hand their mobile phone to the school. So we have a particular designated you know, desk where all mobile phones brought in by students to school are kept and locked. And then at the end of the day, the mobile phones are given back to them. So it's not really a bad thing for children to have mobile phone. Because I'm seeing other people making silly comments about the fact that the children are given mobile phone in the uk right from year four year five that's when they are still like eight years nine years children are given mobile phone by their parents because they need to contact them so we need to monitor where they are after school they are not allowed to use the mobile phone in school so i don't know if these children were using the phone in school information about this video is not yet clear now if they were using the mobile phone in school had it on in school then what they were doing was wrong because security reason and safety reason no child should have a mobile phone in school no child should be using a mobile phone in school you will diverge information about where your school is your class you might even take pictures of other ch people's children which you have done without permission and they can sue you for that and also like we've seen videos of teachers and other classmates fighting or you know being taken is because children have mobile phone operational mobile phone that they are using while lesson is going on so it should not be so now in the university of course in university you can in secondary you can have it in your bag but you don't bring it out so having a mobile phone is not the problem it shouldn't be a problem People talking about parents keep buying children. If you have the money and you want to buy a mobile phone for your child because you want to check on them, it's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's not a problem. So let's not, you know, start blaming the parents because with the way things are in the society, if you have a busy mom or a busy dad, they want to know where you are. They want to check up on you. So they always want to do FaceTime. Some children, they will say they are in school when they are not in school so what we normally do in the uk is when they get into school before they go into the school premises they do a FaceTime. even though yes you know that some of them might sneak out but they don't do it in uk i know in nigeria students actually do sneak out maybe that's the way their parents want to check up on them and then when they say they are home they check up on them because they are very busy maybe if i live in nigeria if i live in nigeria my child will have a mobile phone for me to monitor their whereabouts that is given my child in the uk who is actually in primary two he has a mobile phone 
he doesn't take it into school yet but once he gets to year five when he starts going to school on his own when he can travel on his own he will have his mobile phone in his bag and i'll be checking up on him i need to know when school closes by 3 30 i will call him and make sure that as he's walking home i am talking to him facetiming for his security purpose so parents do this for a reason telling you with all this kidnapping going on people do it just to for safe guiding so i want to establish the fact that it's not that bad have children having phone but if the school proprietor saw the children with the phone maybe they were using it in class or they were using it anywhere what i expected her to do was to call a meeting take the phone from the children keep it call a meeting and hand the phone back to the parents and then officially tell them that the children should not bring the phones back. That is what somebody with common sense could have done. Not ask a child to break that expensive phone. I don't know how Nigerian, you know, government or the law will handle this, but bottom line is that school proprietor does not have any right to break those mobile phone. She doesn't. Could have taken it from them she could have you know kept it for a whole term like sometimes my people in my class bring in something i don't really not supposed to be in school i'll keep it and i'll give it to the parents end of term or one week later just to make them you know know that they're not supposed to bring it in but for you to break it it's not your property you didn't buy it it's not your money you don't have any right to break somebody else's property yes they did something wrong i get it but breaking a mobile phone ha and headmisters and headmistresses in nigeria like they are gods the way that they talk to parents the way they trick parents during pta like they are scones like they are nothing and i think if you are a parent and one of your children were affected by this sue that school yes your submission should be yes your child did the wrong thing they are children Children are like that, but you gave that child that phone for security purpose and it should have been. The school should have had a clear guidelines for mobile phone. I've had people say, oh, mobile phone are not in, you know, they're not encouraging school, you know, you don't bring it in. No, 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 that is a key society. Everywhere in the Western world, children are allowed to at least transit, like, you know, leave their home to get to school with a mobile phone, talking to their parents so that they can check on them. And then when they get to school, they should have a place where it is kept. So that is my take on this story. People attacking the parents. Why are you buying children mobile phone, those expensive phone? Excuse me, get a life. If you don't have money to spend on your children to buy things for them, leave those that have money to do it. If I have money to buy mobile phone or iPhone, latest iPhone for my child, it is my money. I make the money. I work for it. I can afford it and I can give it to them. So it is my money. So I'm comfortable in my skin to give it to my child. So attacking a child or attacking a parent for giving their child the luxury that they want their child to have is an, it's not, it's not your business. You shouldn't do that. I just believe that even if the children did the wrong thing by using the mobile phone in school, the school principal or the headmaster, whoever it is that, that is running the school, should have taken that phone from them and then called the parents in. Either reprimand them and hand the phone over to them. Or, you know what? Just keep it for like a term or two and then give it to the parents and warn the children. That's what she should have done. That is what a sensible person, a sensible school should have done. That is all I have to say. Unless she's saying she has done this many times and it's still happening. Even at that, take the phone, don't give back to them again. Until they graduate do something that shows that you are human it's money that you are breaking for crying out loud it's money it is money all right that is my take on this i don't know what you guys think drop your comment this channel will talk about issues about family issues and i put my mouth on what i feel based on my knowledge and what i know and because of the fact that i work in education so what do you guys think this is my own understanding of the situation what do you think drop your comments Thank you so much. God bless you. And please remember to subscribe to my channel. God bless you.